Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to our NFL football update. First of what will be two this weekend, we'll have our next football update on Sunday morning by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, but we want to let you know a little bit what's going on with the betting for this week, since there's only one college football game uh, other than FCS, Navy and Army, of course, renewing their rivalry on Saturday. But as far as the NFL is concerned, uh, it's all about pro football this weekend for me. And I've got five plays that I'm going to tell you about in just a moment over at DocSports.com. Before we get to all of that, a quick note. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below this video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks for any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that and it comes with a DocSports.com guarantee. So again, all you got to do to get started, get yourself that free $60 account, is click on the link below this video. A real quick recap from last night. As you know, for those who have been watching my videos for a while now, I did not have a play on the battle between the Jets and the Ravens. Now, we did tell you about it a little bit as far as the betting was concerned with Thursday's video that uh, the tickets, the money, all come in on the Ravens even with the talk that Lamar Jackson had the quad issue and was not quite 100%. And boy, he put those rumors to bed. He came out and had another great game, five touchdown passes, no picks. The ultimate confidence shown by Lamar Jackson last night on a fourth down play when he basically tells the punt team to get off the field and then immediately after throws a 30 plus yard pass for a first down in the game. So he's just playing at a different level right now than everybody else uh, that's calling signals around the league. And they went on to get the win. And of course, course uh, most of the betters got the money by laying the points with Baltimore and, and we saw a lot of tickets coming in on the over on Thursday leading up to game time so there you have it game one under uh, or I should say in the books for the weekend and a note before we get to uh, our free pick is we do have our NFL plays posted for the weekend at DocSports.com. I got five sides uh, from Sunday's card, including our next seven unit play. And I uh, wanted to mention as we go into this week, we're 34 and 20, 63% against the spread over the past seven weeks. Now going into our eighth week of this run in football and uh, up about $3,300, just shy of that for those wagering just $100 per unit. So go grab my football right now. All you gotta do is uh, click on that link below the video, that free $60 account. Great time to use it and give DocSports.com a trial run. All right, listen, betting report real quickly. And again, I'll have my next football report this week will be on Sunday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. If not earlier than that, we try to get the weekend plays out by 10 p.m. Pacific on Friday night and Saturday night. But the second football play or video, I should say, will be uh, early Sunday morning, late Saturday night. Uh, as far as the betting report as of now, Friday morning, what we're seeing is three teams getting a ton of the tickets right now, folks. You've got Seattle, the Rams, New England, all getting big time action as far as the tickets that have been written. Upwards of 85% on each one of those three sides that I just mentioned. As far as the money is concerned, the Denver Broncos are getting over 80% of the money plus the points against Kansas City at the books that report to me. And really the only true, I guess you could say at this point of the week, Joes versus Pros game happens to be the, bat the matchup between uh, the 49ers and the Falcons. And as we speak with the Niners being in a tough spot this week, uh, uh, the Niners are getting well over 55% of the tickets at the books that I uh, use, and the Atlanta Falcons are getting over 70% of the money, so a definite pros versus Joes situation there when you talk about that particular game, and that's basically uh, your betting report in a nutshell for now. Again, we will update that with our next football video, which will again be late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. I'll have basketball videos each and every day of the week, of course. Now, let's get to our free pick now for uh, Sunday's card, our first free pick. And I'm laying the points here with the Green Bay Packers, I'm laying about four and a half to the Chicago Bears. Uh, this line, look ahead line, advanced line, opened up as high as seven. It's down two and a half points since then. No more value lying with the Chicago Bears in this particular game. And yeah, Trubisky's been better. The offense has been better the last couple of games, uh, but they played the dysfunction. Dallas Cowboys and of course the Detroit Lions before that. Green Bay owns the type of defense and on offense the type of drive sustaining offense that can keep Trubisky and that Bears offense on the sideline uh, for a good chunk of this game. And listen, you better have a really good reason to go against Green Bay when they're playing at home. They've won six of the seven home games so far this year straight up. 71 and 19 
straight up at home with Rodgers at quarterback and that spread run during those games, 55 and 32. So again, better have a good reason to go against Green Bay. And with that number coming down two and a half points from where it originally stood, we happen to think Green Bay is the value here and we like them. So recommended to play on the Packers minus the points over uh, the, um, over the, um, Chicago Bears as I space off the team for just a second and we're recommending to lay the points we think they get the job done here laying uh, that four and a half Again, don't forget right now, you go grab the plays over at DocSports.com when it comes to my football this weekend. All five sides available right now. Hey, if we win them all, we'll be 39-20 and 20 over an eight-week run. That would be fantastic. Slow start this season, but it's been great the last seven weeks ago. Check it out. All right, again, if you like these videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites at DocSports.com. Let's put the week into the win column. I'll be right back here late Saturday night, early Sunday morning with my next NFL report.